have come to do here today? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I am Christopher Silver John from Wave of Empowerment Foundation. And with me is Mrs. Ginello from State of Christian Initiative. So we have come to talk to you today about menstrual hygiene management. How you can manage your menses when you're on. Can you hear me? Yes. To manage your menstruation properly. There are ways you can manage your menstruation. So that's what I'm going to be telling you here today. The types of sanitary products you can use and it's convenient for you. Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. The thing is that we're going to pass some of the you can tell me what menstruation is. What is menstruation? Menstruation. Okay. 
listening to me? Are you listening to me? Yeah. You will get like 29 days. Yeah, what yeah. it is that my cycle is 29 days. And what I will do is that I know that every 29 days I'm expecting my period. Another way you could know that your period is coming. Many of us have premenstrual syndrome. Your, your, your breast can be tender. Your thighs can be tender. Yeah. You can have breakouts. You can have them pimples coming out. Or you're just moody. It happens to you. You're angry. You're angry. Or you're bloated. Or you're bloated. Your, 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 your tummy feels like there's gas in it. You know that your period is coming. Why is it important to have a menstrual to know your menstrual cycle? So that you're prepared. You start to put your pad somewhere close. So that you don't stain yourself. That's what I told them over there. So I will go back there and tell them something else and come back and tell you. So, yeah, you walk around with your pants, yeah, in your bag, when you see that it's coming. So, she's going to see the cycle. So, what did I say about the cycle? How did I say she calculated it? Okay, let me see. It's easier like this. Let's say, for instance, your best is that today. Today is what? If you have five days, she doesn't know. Two, two. Yes. You start counting one, two, three, four, five. Usually it's five days. After these five days is your menses. You, you write it down that your menses started on the first of June. You now count again if you have 25 days or 28 or 36 or 32 days. You might not know. You might not know your circle, but you need to take note for three good months. By the time you keep it for three months, that will help you know your menstrual circle. What did I say? Oh, no, yeah, no, menstrual cycle. You write it, you started on the two first, you, don't, you write it, they said, that's number 25, 26, 27, 28. So, 28th of June, another one will start. Did you get, did you understand what I counted? Are you sure you understood? Then let's say you have 25 days. You count it from here, you will count for 25 days. You will know the next message will come in the next 25 days. If it's 26 or 24, like that, you write it down. And this is to help you to get yourself prepared that the next message and the next and you to get the sanitary pad close to me. So that you don't get But so once you have a back of sanity pad in your back, you can just put it in the back of the sanity pad and put it in the back of the sanity Yes, after it depends. Yes, but that's the reason why you need to write it down. By the time you write it down, you will not know how many days is your menstrual flow. Some four days, like mine is four days. So her so her like that. I'm sure the sister, when did you start your flow?
They tell you, yes, and then what you can use again to stop the stomach pain sometimes. You know, you have this thing they call hot water bottles. Yes, I 
Uh, if you don't have it at home, you can use hot water, not very hot water. This is go and burn your stomach. Get a towel, put inside, and then place on your tummy. Just massage your tummy. You know, gently massage it. No, you are, yes, it's, it's perfect too for doing your menses. These are all the things you need to do to reduce the ache.
My name is Adam Matafevo and this is Junior Secondary School Aleta. And here by our teacher is here to ask us some questions on what you experienced okay. during menstruation. What is your experience, your first time experience? I was feeling too weak and somehow my smile was spinning me and my head I was having a headache. Did anybody tell you about menstruation before? Nobody you told me. So how did you know how to? I knew when, when they are teaching us in primary six. Okay, they taught you about Yeah, so I keep it up and I know. I even told my sister that was having menstruation. I told my sister that I was having menstruation. She didn't know about it. It was when she got stained. I have to um, explain to her how it happened and how to wear pads. That's very good. Clap for yourself. That's great. <laughs> okay, so because of that, I'm going to give you an extra pack. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you. I want to say thank you. A very big thank you. And for all you have been doing in the society and community, may God continue to bless you and enrich you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Your name? My name is Godwin Bless. I'm a student of JSS Aleta. Um, so, what was your first experience like? The day I started having my menstruation, that is 2017. I was 12 years old. When I started seeing this, my stomach was spending, I was angry with everybody without knowing it. And I don't know how to do it then. Okay. It's my sister, my sister, that now explain it to me. So since then, I've started using pads since then. Anytime I'm having my menstruation, my stomach normally spends me. Okay. And I was very angry with everybody. Okay. But that means you've not had, you didn't hear about menstruation before you started. I've heard about menstruation before. But well, they didn't teach you how to go about it. No. Okay. Now, so today, did you learn anything today at when we came? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what would you say to the organization? Thank you for you people and God bless you. And so people are giving you all this thing every day to come to our school and give us thank you. God bless you yeah. and for the society. Thank you. My name is Sawa Gladys. I, I am in JSS 3, in Junior Secondary School, Aleta. The day that I started my administration, it was a pain to me. It, my mommy have not told me anything about period. She have not told me. It's only my cousin sister that told me. The day that I was I started, I was feeling a pain in my body. I was feeling like I want to, I want to move. But the day that I went into the toilet, I was feeling my body was paining me. That is the day that I started. Okay, on behalf of Real Hope Empowerment Foundation, to present the certificate of participation on World Menstrual Hygiene Day today, we say thank you for hosting us. It's a privilege working with your school. Thank you so much for all the good works you're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're highly welcome. Thank we you. We appreciate everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Now go to. So that was the office. Now. My name is Mrs. Wachuku Martina, the senior mistress and the school counselor of JSS Aleta. On behalf of my school, I want to appreciate the Ray of Hope Empowerment Foundation who has imparted to my children and my students. They have put smiles into their mouths by sharing to them sanitary paths and giving them hope of another day. I'm grateful and God will bless and replenish their pockets. Wherever this money is coming from, I pray the good Lord will replenish it in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, my name is Christabel Silva John. I'm the National Coordinator of Rio of Hope Empowerment Foundation. Today is a very important day in our lives. It's a day we set aside to talk to young girls, women, about menstrual hygiene management. And today we're at Junior Secondary School and later, where we have come to advocate for good menstrual hygiene management, where we talk about having access to toilets, having access to the right sanitary products. As we all know that the cost of things have really skyrocketed in Nigeria. So many families, you know, find it difficult to afford just a pack of pads. The not talk of where you have two, three girls in a home menstruating at the same time. So what do you do? So today we've come to improvise, teach them how to also use reusable sanitary pads to be able to collect their blood when they are menstruating and to encourage them that menstruation is not a taboo. Like so many places you go, there's this culture about menstruation that is a taboo. Like for where I'm coming from, the Igbo land, when you're menstruating, they're not allowed, you're not allowed to get into certain places. Like even your husband will not allow you to come into his room. The young bands, you're not allowed to get close to it because you are foreseen to be unclean. Menstruation is a biological process that every woman who have attained the age of puberty goes through. So that's what we have come to do here today. And as you can see, the, the girls were really excited, the principals. The girls asked a lot of questions. Some of them who didn't have pre-information about menstruation was privileged to learn about menstruation today. So I'm very grateful and I'm excited to be amongst those advocating for good menstrual hygiene management. Thank you. Good day. Um, this is Pastor Marian N. Inicho, uh, principal partner and co founder of All Hands Peace Initiative. So, we're here in conjunction with Ray of Hope to talk about um, the subject of the day, which is menstruation. We have come in here to enlighten the girl child in a later secondary school here. On a day like this, we join the globe to celebrate the day. It's not a taboo day. We have come to just give an enlightenment because some of these children are not actually staying with their parents. They are staying with aunts and other people. So they don't have the privilege to know about this. So we have come, joined force to come to educate them and to let them know that menstruation is part of the process of development for a girl child. It's not a, it, it's not a taboo. And so you could see how excited they were and they had access to people, mothers who are willing to talk with them. It's, it's been a very memorable one not just being a mother to your own children but to the children to the children of other women and to us is a great privilege god bless you all right we have come to the end of today's program and uh, it won't be complete if i don't appreciate the following people i want to appreciate ahf i want to appreciate Planet News Nigeria. I want to also appreciate All Hands Peace Initiative. I want to say a very big thank you to Planet Studios for always being a strong pillar of support all the way. Thank you very much to everyone who supported morally in one way or the other. We say a very big thank you because without you, this work it's not achievable. We say thank you very much. Thank you, thanks to the school authority too for giving us opportunity to be able to talk to the students. Thank you.